On today's show, leadership, weather report, holiday ground, and the fourth day of giving. DJ TV starts now. First Things First on TJTV. I'm Elise. And I'm Yusuf. Hey Yusuf, do you know how to, how to work the holiday grants? I'm not sure, and I don't think I'm the only person. In that case, let's go to Isabella for more information. Hey Jags, I'm Isabella. There have been many reports based on holiday grants, but that's because they just started selling yesterday. Many students were confused as to where to go and what to do, so here's a quick instruction on how to purchase. Yesterday, you may have seen some students gathering inside or outside a room that's right next to the student store. This is called the Student Store Annex, and it is where you can buy your holiday grounds. You will enter through the left door, and inside you will see more students behind the countertops. But first, you will have to pay at the cash register, then move on to fill out your holiday grounds. Feel free to ask any student that's working behind the counter any questions regarding the holiday gram. Have fun, Jugs, and remember, holiday grams are only $1 at the Student Store Annex. I'm Isabella reporting for TJTV. Make today your best day yet. Now let's go to the weekly weather report from Maya. Take it from here. I'm Maya reporting for TJTV with your four-day weather forecast. Yesterday it was raining, but today it will be partly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 44. No need to worry about running from class to class in the rain today. Tomorrow it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 47. These two days might be your only chance to go outside and enjoy the cold and dry weather because on Thursday it will be wet and raining with a high of 55 and a low of 35. On Friday, we will see a lot of sunshine with a high of 54 and a low of 31. Overall, this week will be cold and cloudy. Remember to wear a raincoat on Thursday. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Maya. You've probably seen students leading activities at lunch and working the student store, but did you know that these are, start these are leadership students? Let's go to Taylor to see what leadership looks like. Many of you know about the lunchtime games activities that go on on campus. What you may not know is that leadership ho hosts them all. Let's go to Ms. Kincaid to learn more. So in leadership we do all sorts of activities. Uh, so uh, we do lunchtime games. Uh, that's a lot of what's going on um, right now. We try to do lunchtime games three days a week. We plan dances, which um, we're hoping that in the beginning of the year, sometime in January, uh, we will be able to host our first dance. What's my favorite thing? In the previous year, they've seen all of the activities that have happened, but they don't know the behind the scenes. So it's actually teaching them the behind the scenes of how does uh, how does an event actually happen. That's that's my favorite piece. Uh, my biggest expectation is that um, one, um, I find that leadership students in general have a hard time making mistakes and so um, I think that it's really important that they feel what it's like to make a mistake and actually admit to the mistake that they made and think of a way that they can solve it without keeping it a secret. I enjoy teaching leadership, it's absolutely chaotic um, all the time and it's different every single day. 
Like every day we come in, we're doing something different. We're talking about something. Uh, students take me down a path and teach me um, what's current, what do students actually like, uh, and they just kind of keep me present in what I'm doing. Thanks, Ms. Kincaid. I'm Taylor reporting for TJTV. Let's see what today's prize is. Today's prize is Swedish fish. Let's see what class wins these delicious treats. Congratulations to Mrs. Milan, first period class. You all will receive some Swedish fish. If you are interested in becoming a quarter three TA for the office or for a teacher, please pick up an application in the counselor's box in student services starting today, December 6th. Applications are due your to your counselor by 3 p.m. on Friday, December 13th. Late applications will not be accepted. All TAs must have a GPA of 3.0 and that you will be placed in a TA pool and will be assigned a teacher or office job. Students are not guaranteed a TA spot. To students can only TA during their elective period. The Dynamics Dance Club will not meet today, will not meet Monday, December 13th and will return on January 10th after winter break. Thanks. Now that's all we have for today. We'll be back Thursday with another episode of First Things First on TGTV. I'm Elise. And I'm Yusuf. Make today your best day yet.